are in a part of the country no longer controlled by the government of the United States. Training exercises are becoming an increasingly common sight in many U.S. cities. The Department of Homeland Security has spent the past year acquiring more than one billion rounds of high-performance ammunition. Do these developments suggest concerns over a potential terrorist attack? Are they preparations for widespread social upheaval? Is there perhaps something even more sinister underway? And now with the National Defense Authorization Act coming into effect this Thursday, uh, the law that many fear spells the end of American democracy, uh, grants the government and the military unprecedented powers to detain U.S. citizens indefinitely without trial. practice in China is not free markets, not freedom. I mean, they, they kill their political dissidents. They, they do bad things to their people that disagree with them. What's going on? not support China's government because China's government is the enemy of human rights. My name is Robert Whitaker, I'm the tactical supervisor for El Paso SRT for Homeland Security Investigations. Well, we have our, our big vehicle out here, it's an armored vehicle. Uh, it's an AMRAP vehicle. It's mine resistant, ambush protected is what it stands for. That's what we use to deliver our, our, um, our team to uh, high risk warrant services. Ships from the East China Sea Fleet of the PLA Navy have arrived in the Western Pacific Ocean to conduct maritime drills. The two warships, uh, Foshan and uh, Huaihua, are first and the second generation missile frigates. The exercise is there first flew water training drill. Earlier, the warships conducted a series of mock exercises during its voyage to the Western Pacific Ocean that covered surveillance and tested nighttime capabilities. And uh, controversial detentions uh, could soon be commonplace in the U.S. We are now in a state of martial law and war uh, globally. NDAA, National Defense Authorization Act, that Obama has called for and signed stipulates that even American citizens can now be uh, targeted by the military, picked up and imprisoned indefinitely without civilian trial, thus throwing out our due process, our habeas corpus clauses. So we are now in the state of martial law. Everything is now in, in conditions for a, a total war state. I mean, McCain called for the, the, the whole America becoming part of the so-called battlefield. America is now battlefield. The whole earth is a battlefield. What we're trying to do then is create a martial law state using using Iran as the terrorist enemy or threat. And to give all of these these agents so much firepower, uh, it, it really does make you wonder, uh, are they planning on some kind of widespread economic unrest in the U.S.? And worst case scenario is, as you said, they're planning for economic unrest or violent protests or something that requires hollow point ammunition on a wide scale. And there are a, lo a lot of theories as well uh, that there's sort of a connection between DHS and the police forces in this country, particularly in the Occupy Wall Street crackdown. I know DHS agents, it's been confirmed, have been involved in various ways in many of the Occupy movements around the country. It'd be the foothold we need and take our homes back. I can. Yes, you can. Relax. And squeeze. our freedom. Now it's up to all of us to fight for them. For them, this is just some place. For us, this is our home.